my mother died. My mother did not die. Lynette is now suing Corporal Gregory, one of the deputies at the Levy County Sheriff's Office. Now, she's also suing a number of other people who helped Lloyd, rescued Lloyd from the grips, from the nastiness of Lynette and claiming that she had a contract for that camper. So I find rather interesting that there are 99% lovers of What the Hales and there are 1% love to hate What the Hales that the 1% are saying Jeremy's a vexious litigant. And yet here's Lynette literally suing the sheriff deputy, the corporal, the department that has literally assisted her or encouraged her to continue to break the law with no consequences whatsoever. And now she's taking them to the courtroom. Now there's only one civil judge in all of Levy County. That's Judge Craig DeThomasis. Here's the interesting part. They left me out of this lawsuit, which by the way, her lawyer is the best lawyer I've ever had working for me. And the greatest part is he's free. I'm not sure anybody in the right mind would ever pay him any money, but I've got to tell you, let him keep doing what he's doing. Don't flag videos. Don't try and get videos taken down. Let it keep happening. The greatest thing we could ever have is them to continue to do what they're doing. So now they're going to try and take this before Judge Craig DeThomasis, which will not happen. It can not happen. So even though they did not list me as a defendant in this lawsuit, but they have in others, which are frivolous as well, um, you know, they, they, they're, they're trying to bet that Judge Craig DeThomas is going to help them out. Well, Judge Craig DeThomas has already been found guilty of unlawfulness, illegal practice, showing prejudice against me and for Lynette. In other words, this whole thing is going to Judge Davis, and Judge Davis already told Lynette he does not want to see her in his courtroom ever again. That's interesting. So her lawyer is placing her in that courtroom. The same Lynette who claimed that her voice was taken away. Her freedom of speech was taken away by Shart and others. I wonder if she's saying the same thing with her current lawyer. Which, by the way, they are claiming they're going to sue her previous lawyer, Silver Scam, as well. This ought to be extremely interesting to watch unfold. Especially taking into account that Lynette had a conversation with Corporal Gregory, who she's suing before the team ever even came on the property. And she clearly, clearly states the camper is Lloyd's. Therefore, she has no contract whatsoever. She's proven again and again there is no contract at all. And, well, you know what? Let's just go and see it from her perspective or from Corporal Gregory's perspective. I've never shared this clip before. This is the conversation that has happened based on them coming to rescue Lloyd's belongings for rescue, but they had to then go get Lloyd. I've showed everything after they got Lloyd, but I didn't show anything before they got Lloyd. Maybe keep a tally how many times she yells at the child. Maybe keep a tally how many times she yells at Corporal Gregory. Maybe keep a tally how many times she actually says, it's Lloyd's camper. No, no, no. The proof is all there. It was never, ever under contract with her. I'm aware that you spoke with our undersheriff, right? Was it Friday? Now, what, how'd that conversation go? What all did he... Um... He said he would actually, he be, the would actually be the one out here. And I said, do I need to call and remind you? And he goes, no. So all you're doing, and this is kind of what we're expecting, one of two things, and it's really a 50-50 shot. Lynette will either say, yeah, take it and get out of the way, or she's going to put up resistance and say, I don't want money on my property, blah, 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 blah and that. Now understand, we are here as Lloyd. Lloyd is a tenant. So he has tenant rights to secure his stuff. We're acting in his behalf. So, 
so um, we are allowed to be here just to secure this stuff. And we're here just to facilitate that. And we're not we taking things that aren't here. We to get this done to help out Lloyd. He had a hip replacement. Yep. And he is not able to be here. He's, He's, in, a He's in a nursing home in Trenton. And I went to that area. He gave me the keys to his car. He gave me the keys to his car and okay. it's recorded. It's recorded. He has it's a recording wishes. of it. Okay. If you need to talk to Lloyd and verify all that, you can he do that. He says he's willing to have anybody call him. The police need to call him. He's willing to speak to anybody. He's willing to speak to these gentlemen to help facilitate what's on there that belongs to him that he needs to have removed. Okay. I'm going to handle this like I do any other situation. Okay. I'll go to talk to Lynette. I'll let her know why you're here. I'm assuming she does not know that y'all are coming here. Unless the sheriff calls you. I really have no idea. So we can assume that she does not know. I'll go speak to Lynette. I'll let them know why y'all are here and see if she is okay with y'all coming. Okay. If she says no, mm -hmm. that she does not want y'all on the property, it is her property. Okay. What's going to, if it, in the event that happens, you can either, if Lloyd recovered and able to come with you out here where I can verify this is Lloyd so I talk to him on the phone I can verify in person this is Lloyd Lloyd has a right to come on the property and get his stuff yes. if in the event that he is not able to so you a can phone call conversation can't do that no I, I can't verify that's Lloyd even if you call the nursing home and the nursing home people can talk to give you the information if in the event that that happens one second hello Well, tell her I'm, uh, tell her that I'm here in front of her house so I'll be uh, just a minute and talk to her. All right, Lord, thank you. Honey. Thank you. <laughs> um, I don't see if, how you can if, if Lloyd, Lloyd if, is in a nursing home, if the nursing if, home gives you the phone, gives him the phone. If Lloyd is in a nursing home and cannot come out here because of his, is it, is it? He's had a hip, hip Okay, so it's physical. Yeah. Because of his physical health. And then that does not lay on the property. You can petition the courts and get a writ of replevin on behalf of Lloyd. If the courts award the writ of replevin in y'all's favor, bring that to us. With that court order, I can go in there and get whatever property is listed in that writ. Okay, could you let her know that of if course. she doesn't allow us to do this, that's exactly what I, we're I'm going to do my best to go up there, speak to Lynette, let her know what's going on, and let her know the options just like I explained it to you. That's right. Okay. Because there's not, I mean... There's not always going to, we have to arrange for all of the people to be here. So there may not be a time, again, that we would be able to have all of these people here today. I will try my best to speak with Lynette, and if she's okay with it, I will stand by. Y'all can get whatever belongs to Lloyd, and hopefully this can go smoothly and peacefully. Well, yeah. Okay, give me just a few minutes, okay? Yes, sir. Got some rain, didn't you? Hey, hey, I, I'll explain it. I'll explain it. Hey, was, was there a Mr. Lloyd that was living here? Yes, he's in the hospital. He's in a nursing home. In a nursing home. home. Is this a camper here? Yes. Which one's his? Right there. The Sunny Book? Yes. Okay. Well, Lloyd has gotten with, apparently has gotten with um, Mr. Granger, and he is wanting... Um, Mr. Granger to come and move his fifth wheel camper from the property. Granger's not coming on my property. Uh, that's, that's, uh, I'm here hopefully to get to a peaceful resolution. That's all I'm here for, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Yep, uh, that's fine. Get in. Get in. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay. Bye. If, if, I, if Granger does not come on the property, can somebody else hire? Somebody else. Hire can come get the camper? Somebody other than Brett Granger is okay. not coming on my property. Is, is Brett the same as Stephen Granger? Is that the same person? Yes. Brett and Stephen are the same person? Yes. Okay, so as long as Stephen stays out or Brett stays out there, you're okay with them coming to get in Lloyd's camper? I don't know. None of them people are coming on my property. It's all for view. Do you see the cameras? No, sir. Find somebody else. Okay, let me ask you this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Back up, Mommy. Back up. For one, I got to get the cat out of there. The kids left their cat in there. Okay. Move. Move. Yes. Do you see the police? Go 
sit in your bed. Go sit in your bed. You're not talking to them. If if I nope, they, they can find them, he can find somebody else. That's all. That's what I'm saying. If they're, they're, company. Well, there's a, a hired hand that's not a part. Nope. And if I keep the cameras and all everything out on the road, please, will you once listen to me? Go to the back. Go to the back. Let me step outside. Yes, ma'am. If I can, if I tell them to stay off the property, no cameras, no nothing, no. they can come get the no. trailer. Who, it's not Willis. None of them are coming on my property. I don't know who Willis is, no. ma'am. I need to get the cat out of here. Okay. Here. Stop. There is a cat okay. in there that the kids left. Okay. I'm getting the cat out that, of the camper. That, that's fine. That's fine. Miss Preston, I'm here. I'm here trying to make this whole process go as smoothly as possible and as peacefully as, po as possible. If I call the funeral, if I call the um, nursing home and I speak to Lloyd and Lloyd tells me, yes, I, I want them to get my camper. If I keep the cameras off of here, Granger off of here and get a party that's not affiliated with any of them, can he come on here and get the camper? No, on Lloyd's not behalf? having those people on my property. Nope, he can have his camper. No problem. Lloyd can have whose camper? Oh, his camper. With what kind of problems? Oh, no problems. Except there's that little issue of a lawsuit against all these individuals. Funny how Lloyd wasn't named in the lawsuit. Funny how I wasn't named in the lawsuit. And she's claiming there's damages. But Lloyd can have his camper. No problem. Uh, emphasis on his camper. I'm getting the cat out of the camper. How, how, how is he going to get it, ma'am? Let mind. him hire somebody else. He's not getting them on my property. That's what this whole thing is about. Okay. Views, video, Ms. Preston, Mr. Ms. Preston, Lloyd Ms. Preston. We've done nothing to him. I'm not, the kids I'm have not done say, nothing. I'm but not saying you have. My kids, I sent my grandchildren away because they had drugs on my property. Because they assaulted my daughter. <sighs> Because they were being bad. But under oath, she said she's never had anybody who does rugs on her property. Uh, nobody. Nobody. She, she's not affiliated with anybody that has anything to do with rugs. And yet, this is her own family. Ha! Huh. This family is, um, well, it's astronomically um, blessed with some kind of power that they won't die, even though they all have died. Lynette has died. Crook has died. Lynette's mom has died. Landon has died three times. Three times in one night. And yet they're all still alive. Man, oh, if only I could have some power like that. They claim I have power over all of these people. And yet I still can't cheat death like this family. You're going to get your mouth thanked. Miss Preston, I know this is an emotional situation. Oh, okay. no, it's more than that. It's way more than that. So, if I'm understanding correctly, as long as the board gets somebody that's independent of... Yep. Anybody independent of that's that. That's not a part of... What the hell? Okay. Alright. I will let them know. If Lloyd is the reason why the sheriff is here, is he why All right, I spoke to Miss Lynette. She says she does not mind if people come and get the camper, but it cannot be you or anybody affiliated with what the hells. So if Lloyd wants to get an independent, I I explain that. I ex I explain that. I, I'm relaying the message. I. Who is Rex? He's a camper owner. Okay, I can go ask if she will allow him. I told her that you had a. Uh, like a third party that's apart from whatever's going on here. Mm -hmm. she well, we're not even involved in it anymore. We don't live here. Okay, well, I explained <laughs> that to her, and she 
she still said... She wants us to go get that order from the court. That's not what she said. She wants... No, that's not... No, ma'am. No, she wants Lloyd to hire somebody that's not affiliated or part of or associated with what the hell is. And she can make Lloyd do that? This is her property, ma'am. This is not a campground. This is her... This is her property. Lloyd is not here. Lloyd is, Lloyd is in a hospital. He's the tenant. He needs that out so that when he gets out of the hospital, and we should be able to take his car. So you need people that are not available. I can, I can go ask if she will let... Let me see if his grandson is available. Does Rex have a... Is that his name or that nickname? Is that... That's his name. That's his name. Does Rex have a last name? Woods. Rex Woods. Let me go ask. Rex and his son, Bobby, put the camera over So he's been on the property before. Okay, give me one second. Let's see if Bobby can Are you familiar? Are you familiar with the Rex? Who? They've got a. They didn't plan on getting it. They. Hey, hello. get in there. They had an independent guy come to get the camper. Name, it's name. funny that we just talked to John this morning and gave that camper to John. Just this morning, from jail, John's not in there. Recorded line. You need to pull that line up and listen to that phone call because he just told John that that camper is ours. So it's kind of funny that all this is happening right now. This is my friend Patty Plummer. This is always supposed to have been ours. All right, give me one second, okay? Lloyd was leaving it while he goes up north to, to Michigan to his daughter, and this was supposed to be mine. I was supposed to be paying him $200 a month. Matter of fact, I have the text messages. Lloyd gave us copies of text messages as well. All that state that she is to stay out of his camper, he is not giving the camper to her. So is this another lie? Well, it is Lynette, and she has publicly posted that they never use foul language in front of the child, except the entire community has heard them screaming foul language, and you're about to hear it again, right now. But he can have it. He can have it. Rex? I don't know. No, that, I'm, what? I'm not... I'll clean all this out myself. I'll do all this work myself. They're not coming on my property. So I, With everything they've done to me, okay. no. Well, there is a an independent... No. This, I need help. I need somebody to come and watch this child. Sit down. You're not... With Hold what? on, Patty. Hold on. They are affiliated. They're all I'm not, affiliated. I, I don't know who Rex is. Apparently, he's the new owner of the campground. Yep, there, he's affiliated. Okay, so the answer is still no. Yep, you can find someone else. Okay. They're not coming on my property. They've done nothing but destroy me, lie about me. Should they have made videos of me? They have done lies. They're not coming on here. What does Lloyd have here? He's got the camper. The is, camper that, is, that's there, it. is there any other saws, equipment, tools? Nope. This is whatever is right here is his. Uh, uh, the stuff under it as Except well. Except the red gas can is mine. Okay. And the car. The car is his. Yeah. What, what car? Yep. The deputy. This is mine. Okay. What car? That car. The little tiny freaking car. The little Jeep right here? Yep. Not the Jeep. The little car. Little white car? They're not a white car right here. Right here. That's what I just said. A, a Jeep. Is, not, is it a Jeep? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had no idea. Yes, yes ma'am.
Okay. No, so, so, Rex ain't a so my recommendation about that. So my recommendation would be either if Rex gets to a spot in his health where he can come with y'all out here. Okay. I'm sorry, Lloyd, the owner of the camper, Lloyd. I've never met him. I don't know who he is. So, may I say something about Lloyd? I went and spoke with him and got his keys from him. As far as I'm understanding, his his plan is to have this taken care of so that when he leaves the nursing home, he can be with his daughter and doesn't have to come back out here. He's scared, He's scared. to come back he out won't here. Go back on the He's got nowhere to go. He's a very quick one. And he said that. I have it on recording. He doesn't want my truck on our property. No, sir. We're the ones who put the camera on. Well, I understand that, sir, but uh, she's saying no. Uh, If Lloyd gets to a point in his health where he's able to ride with y'all out here, and if Lloyd is here, and I can verify that this is Lloyd, what's it, Lloyd Campbell? Yeah. If I can verify that this is Lloyd Campbell, I, I, sir, I need him here on the property. Okay, but we're going to tell him that. that that's fine, and I don't mind explaining it to him. Hey, Lloyd. Did they, did they give him a, a timeline on how long he's going to be at Ayers National? Okay. And then he's right. got arrangements to go to his daughter. Which like is where? Basketball. Okay. He does not want to And he wants, he's making arrangements as soon as we get the car off the property to have someone take the car to him. Hey, Lloyd, can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, so we're here with the police officer and a sort of people here to help the police and stuff. And that is not letting anyone do it. And the, the police officer needs to, you need to hear or somehow to verify that you are who you are and you're allowing us to do it. He can hear you. Okay, I'm going to try... You don't have to hold it. So I can hear you. Try sitting, uh... I'm going to try sitting, uh... Nursing home in, uh... Trenton and Sandy. And I am um, on my back. I fell down there a couple of weeks ago and broke my hip and I had a hip replacement. And I am at this place right now. And I won't be getting out of here until next Friday. And when I talked to Brett... Uh, he said he knew everything today at 11 o'clock, so that's all my stuff, and I'm given permission to move everything out of there. All right, Mr. Moore, because you're not here to claim the property that you're saying is yours, and there is no dispute that the property is yours. I'm not saying that the Jeep here is yours, that the, the Sunnybrook camper is yours, but without you being here for me to verify who you are, I'm not going to do this over the okay. phone. So as I, Lynette said that... that you can get the camper as long as it's an independent contractor that you hire to come out here and get the camper and that's not affiliated with what the hells. She does not mind the camper being gone. She just does not want the hells and those affiliated with that. That is the one that you need to talk to. I'm not... I need to get my stuff out of there, and Brett and those people are helping me do that. I can't stay there with that woman anymore. She is crazy. The all you police officers, I'm sure, know by now. So I don't know what I have to do. I need her stuck in the hospital on my back, and I won't be out of here until a week from this past Friday. Okay. Next Friday, they're releasing me. The other option you have is, well, is you can have Mr. Granger petition the court for a writ of replevin. If the judge grants the writ, Mr. Granger can bring that here to me, and I will gladly go on the property, give it to Miss Lynette Preston, and let her know there's nothing that's going to stop them from getting the camper. And his car. And car, yes. On that writ of replevin, whatever property you have here, the car, the camper, if there's any tools, anything that, that you believe belongs to you, it needs to be on that writ. So whenever the judge hopefully approves it, when they come here and give it to me, I can load up and pack up and help get all the stuff that's on this property that belongs to you. Okay, so how do I do this, being in the hospital or being in the Tri County and go from home? I'll probably have Mr. Granger or somebody. Uh, are you going to help him with this? Yeah, we'll get, yeah, if not, I'll solve it. Okay. I would have them come get a statement from you, all your information, have them go to the courthouse, and have them fill out the paperwork for the writ of replevin. Or they can get the paperwork from the courthouse and bring it to you, and y'all can fill it out there. And once it's completed, y'all can turn that into the courthouse, and the judge can review it. Once the judge reviews it, he will make a decision then whether it's going to be granted or not. If it is granted, if it's granted, he can sign it, stamp it, and bring it to us, and we will come get your property. 
if you're getting out next if you're getting out next Friday, if if you're at a point in your health where you can ride with them down here, you can ride with them down here. And if you're here, I verify that you are who you say you are. I have no problem allowing them to get your property then. Lynette cannot keep you from the property. She can keep the Grangers and anybody else from the property, but she cannot keep you because you were living here prior to being, was it a, a hip replacement or hip surgery? Yeah, prior to you yeah, they, they, having medical issues. So you were, living, yeah. you were living here prior to that hip replacement? Yeah, they yeah. came and got him from here. Okay, and yeah, so she cannot keep you from the property. So if you come here, as long as you're here, I'll verify that, that you are who you say you are, and you want them to come get the property, there's nothing stopping Lynette or the Sheriff's Office from allowing that to happen. Okay, so Brett is going to come and see me? Yes, I can come. Yeah, because i got to get this done. I'm surprised she wouldn't just let me leave, you know? Well, she's say, is, she is saying that you can get the camper. It's just going to be a, an independent contractor that you they hire that is, hire. That, is not, being done for that is not affiliated with what the hell's. You know, I'm going to have to get this done. I'm not sure don't know why she's doing this. Why doesn't she just let me leave? I'm supposed to be moving back to Massachusetts to my daughter because it's getting to a point where I can't take care of myself health-wise. And I want to get my property out of there. And all that stuff can be listed in the writ of replevin if y'all apply for it Monday. Y'all can put all the reasons why you need your property now and hopefully the judge will get it, review it, and approve it. And when you bring that to us, we have no problem executing that writ. So with him or the writ, we can facilitate this with you? If Mr. If Mr. Lloyd is here, and I verify this is Lloyd Campbell, yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. Because but if he's not here, the writ will do it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, with Lloyd being here, Lloyd has access to the property because he lives here. Can't she can't, she Lloyd can't, she can't live, or she can't, Lloyd can't, I'm sorry, Miss Preston cannot keep whoever Lloyd wants to invite okay. onto, the pro onto the property. Okay, I just want to make sure I fully understand. Yeah. But Lloyd's got to be here for that. It, it'll be the same. It'll be the same as if you're renting a place from somebody and you leave, and your friend shows up. Whoever owns that property, uh, lives in a separate house, can tell your friend to leave, even though you said he could be there. But the moment you get there, and you say no, he can stay. We're not getting involved in it because he's inviting him on the property, and we can verify that this is you know Mr. Granger that lives here. Okay. Do, does he have to go on the property as long as he's no. on this road? No. He doesn't have to go on the property. Mm -mm. No. So no. if we could get somebody in a vehicle to get him here and park him on the property, that's all it'll take. Yeah, that's fine. Or if you even just pull, pull in the driveway, they can't keep Lloyd from the property, and they can't. They can't. I think so, Mr. Lloyd. Hey, Lloyd. Yeah. Yeah. Are you able to ride in a vehicle if I come pick you up? You don't have to get out of the vehicle. If you want to pick me up and I get permission to leave this place, I'm going to be in a uh, wheelchair. He doesn't, but he doesn't I can have to get go out of the wheelchair and into your vehicle, and then if I have to go on the property, I'm going to need somebody to push me in a wheelchair. You don't have to go on the property. You, you just have to be you here. You just have to come here to the street. I can do that if you come and get me. Yeah, I'll come That's, to, yeah. That's, That's, That's no, no problem. problem. We're going to go All right, okay. we're going to come get you. Can you text me the address of where you're at? Are, are, you, are you at Tri-County or are you at Ayers? He's at Tri-County. Okay, so he's right off of, off of 26. Yeah, go, to, go to Fannin, turn right on 26, and he's a couple miles on. You go around Wilcox Curve, he's right on the left. I just want to get this done for the So he's made from here, maybe 30 minutes. All right. So as long as you come here, Mr. Lloyd, make sure you bring, make sure you bring your identification. And if you come here, and I can verify that, that you are who you say you are, uh, Miss Preston cannot keep you or whoever you invite onto the property. So Deanna's going to come and get you. She has a vehicle with more space. I'm the one that came and got the keys, sir. I'll come and get okay. you, okay? I'll come with her. Please. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, sir. Thank you. Uh, you'll, be able to, you'll, be, you'll be able to get me out of this facility, no problem. Right? They can't keep me here. That's going to be up to the, the staff there. I don't know the I don't know the condition of, of why you're there or what the or what what the doctors has ordered. But we'll facilitate that. We'll but take I, care of everybody. It'll be a temporary yeah, thing. We're just checking them out and bringing yeah. them back. Yeah. Like so. a book. All right. Well, we'll be back in an hour. Okay. All right. Just call the sheriff's office. I'll come back out. All right. All right. No problem. All right, Lloyd. We'll have somebody there shortly. Uh, no problem.
Right. I'm not going to go relay the information to her. Right. Okay, bye. When y'all come here with Mr. Lloyd, so, as long as everything is... One more question. If she leaves while we're doing this... It doesn't matter. As long as Lloyd is here, and I can okay, verify, so make sure Lloyd brings his identification, I and I can verify that this is Lloyd... Ms. Preston cannot keep up on the property as long as Lloyd is here and is telling y'all you're welcome to come on the property. Yep. Okay. So at the end of the day, I've got to protect her rights, just like I've got to protect y'all and Lloyd's. And unfortunately, without him being here or without a writ, if she doesn't want to come on the property, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's not good. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, so, you're ready to go? please, whenever y'all come back, please call the sheriff's oh, office. Oh, we will not. Absolutely. And I will, <laughs> I, will come, I will come back down here to make sure we that. I want to talk to her, look at her, or nothing. Yeah, we don't want to okay. We just want to get the stuff off. We just want to stop and we want to go away and then nobody has any reason to ever be on our property again. Yes, ma'am. All right, well, see y'all soon. Thank you. No problem. If you would pin this call that I'm on right now, they're going to be coming back in about an hour. They're going to call and let us know when they're back on their way out here to this location. Next, we'll go over the lawsuit, Lynette versus six people, which I guarantee her lawyer isn't telling her that he's not responsible for any of the money if she's countersued which she will be, or if the judge grants, yeah, legal fees, not for one defendant, not for two defendants, not for three, four, or five. We're talking six defendants. Lynette will be responsible for legal fees if the judge grants it in this lawsuit. You're going to get your mouth pinched. 